Let's go! Hello again! Welcome back. Music is awesome. As per usual, I decided to record as my washing machine is currently washing clothes. So enjoy. In life, there are stereotypes. There are molds we must fit in. There are sounds we're going for, sounds that are accepted, and that the masses enjoy because they've heard them before, and because they're told they're good. Insert any team bop sound band right here. Then there are artists, which molds do not apply. Zappa, Claypool, Tom Waits, Rush, that one guy, Van Halen, countless others. Oh, and uh, Mars Volta. Mars Volta. Uh, the guitarist Mars Volta. I forget his name right now. Him, Mars Volta. <laughs> they, take an instrument, they take an instrument to its limit and beyond to achieve the sound they hear in their head. Even if people are saying they're crazy or it can't be done. Talking in broad strokes, I know. An artist also doesn't have to be way out there. An artist can simply refuse to be restricted by the mold their instrument's supposed to stay in. This is a huge thing for me personally. I hate pigeonholing music, musicians, or instruments. They can do anything. And it's great when they do. In the mix of words that I just said to you, between the comfort food of music and the eloquent expensive dinners of music, is where I find Brian Devendorf. Artists you should know about. Brian Devendorf. I hope I'm saying that last name. Den, Den, Ven, Brian Devendorf. Brian Devendorf. I wrote Denon or Devin? Shit. Brian D. I suppose I can look it up. Hang on. Let me pull out the old, uh... Excuse me while I whip this out. I was just looking up earlier. There they are. The band. With a V. Devendorf. Brian Devendorf. There it is. See what a little bit of research does? Hope we're learning. Brian Devendorf is an American drummer most notably known for his part in the band The National. A band, to my understanding, doesn't pursue a song unless every member signs off on it. This is part of Brian's genius. If he can't hear or find an interesting thing to do or express on the drums in a song, he won't sign off on it. Same goes for each member. I'm aware Mr. Fantini doesn't like The National. I do. We all have opinions. It's great. Music is awesome. Brian's beats can be subtle, but wonderful, and I implore you to go visit the Nationals albums uh, Boxer, High Violet, or Trouble Will Find Me. Songs like Fake Empire, Brainy, Blood Buzz Ohio, and Graceless showcase the genius that Brian brings to each song. Much of Western music's drums rely heavily on the snare, kick, and hi-hat. Like this. Sometimes exclusively and never ending the driving beat. And there's good reason for teaching and playing a driving beat. It propels the song along. But some musicians don't do that. Often it's stop playing or underplaying and achieves the same effect. Brian uses tom toms. The kick drum is played when necessary, but not incessantly. And that goes with every part of his drum. Oh, there goes the washing machine. Brian is an artist that I think should be looked up to by new drummers look into what they can do with the kit to serve the song because at the, because at the end of the day that's what matters does what you play serve the song that's what I got if you don't know Brian's stuff or the National I highly recommend checking them out subscribe if you like what I'm doing head on over to my Patreon page if you want to support the channel even more talk to you later